Hello, I am Kirsten Larson, the author of the picture book, Wood Wire Wings, Emma, Lily, and Todd Invents an Airplane. Today, we're going to do an engineering design activity based upon this picture book. If you haven't yet read the book, you should watch the book trailer. Go to KirstenWLarson.com, click on Wood Wire Wings under Books, and scroll down to find the trailer. First, let's talk a little bit about engineering design. Engineering design is a process that engineers use to solve real-world problems. The first step is to define the problem that you want to solve. The second step is to develop solutions. The third step is to optimize those solutions by testing them and making them better. So in my book, Wood Wire Wings, Emma, Lily, and Todd finds her problem. She is working right after the time of the Wright brothers when airplanes were a completely new form of transportation. So my challenge to you is to look at this slide here and read the text and see if you can figure out the problem that Lily and Todd wanted to address. And then consider what is her solution going to look like? Go ahead and pause the video and do that. I'll be here when you get back. The next step of the process is to develop solutions. Now, I want you to look at this picture by illustrator Tracy Subasak and see what you notice. Do you see all the different birds and all the different airplane designs? This shows us two different things about the developing solution process. First of all, a lot of times to create your solution, you need to first do some research. And for Lily and Todd, a lot of that research was observing birds and how they fly. So she did a lot of research to develop her solutions. And she had to build a lot of different models. You'll notice each of these airplanes looks a bit different. None of the models is exactly the same. So developing solutions is brainstorming. Now let's look at this picture here. You can see, again, she has several different models and also several different sketches of possible airplane designs. So when we're developing solutions, we may draw pictures, we may build models, and then we have to test them. So this is a picture of Lily and Todd and her test. How do you think her first tests are going? pretty terrible, but that's okay. This is a part of the engineering process. Nobody gets things right the very first time, not even Lily and Todd when she's trying to invent her airplane in the early 1900s. But each test gives her information that she can use to refine her design. So after she does some small scale tests with models, she moves on to a full size test. So what do you think? Do you think things are going well here? Nope, she's having problems with her engine. She used a car engine on her airplane. Well, I'm going to spoil the story for you, even if you haven't um, read the book yet. The cool thing is that in 1910, Lily and Todd's plane finally did fly successfully. And she became the first woman to design a working airplane on her own and helped kick off a future filled with flying. And as you can see here, there are so many type of airplanes built today and in the past, and each airplane's design is a little bit different, and they're designed to do a specific job. So you'll notice that an airliner like that 747 there is really big because it has to hold a lot of people, while a military fighter jet may be sleek and shaped like a bullet so it can fly really fast and be maneuverable. So the cool things is, thing is that even today, people are reinventing airplanes, coming up with new ideas, new problems we have to address that can be solved with new airplane designs. So now I'm going to give you a challenge. And your challenge is to build your own airplane, just like Lily and Todd. So be an engineer. Think about what you want your, your airplane to do. Brainstorm what your design might look like and then build it and test it. And if it doesn't work exactly the way you want the first time, try it again. 
So here are a few sources for research that might help you. Um, if you have access to a library or maybe you have some ebooks available, there are lots of books about designing paper airplanes for kids. If you would rather try out some existing designs, I'll give a link to the Fold and Fly paper airplane site. And that site has a lot of cool um, designs that you can build and test. So whenever you're building a paper airplane, here are a few materials that you might need. So I hope that you've, um, you enjoy this engineering design activity. I hope you'll make some notes about your airplanes and what designs fly best and what you have to do to go back and tweak them. I would always love it if you share your results um, with your parents' permission, of course. Your parents can share your creations on social media and tag me at Kirsten W. Larson. I would love to see what you come up with. Enjoy.